next one find a polynomial of degree 2 which takes the values x 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 corresponding y value 1 2 4 7 11 16 22 29 here yeah. To find out the polynomial equation, the equation degree 2, that equation degree 2, usually x value given to find out the corresponding y value. But in polynomial, polynomial to b equal to x minus x naught divided by h here x to substitute the x itself then only we will get the polynomial equation ok first x 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and corresponding y value 1, 2, 4, 7, 11, 16, 22, 29. In polynomial, now to find out the polynomial equation for that we can use either Newton's forward method or Newton's backward method. It will get the same result. Okay. First, we will discuss the Newton's forward method. The difference between these two, 2 minus 1, result is 1, 4 minus 2, result 2, 7 minus 4, 3, 11 minus 4, 16 minus 11, 5 and 22 minus 6, 29 minus 22, difference 7. Next, delta square y, difference between these two, 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 2, 1, 4 minus 3, 1, 5 minus 4, 1, 6 minus 4, 1. 7 minus 6 1. Next step, delta q y 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0 1 minus 1 0. Next step, delta q two. Next step, delta power 4 y 0 minus 0 0 0 0. So all the values will be 0. So we can solve the process. Here itself. Now, Newton's forward. Newton's forward means we can take these values. These values. The formula for Newton's forward interpolation. Newton's forward interpolation Newton's forward interpolation first we have to find out p value x minus x naught divided by h equal to x is not given so we can fix the x itself x naught x naught be Initial value of the x 0 and h intervals between to x value 1. Now simplify this one. Result is x. This is for p value. And formula for Newton's forward I have p equal to y naught plus p delta y naught plus p into p minus 1 divided with 2 factorial delta square y naught delta q all the values 0 so we can stop it 
process here itself. Now to substitute the y naught value 1 plus p value x into delta y naught value, delta y naught value 1 plus p value x within bracket p minus 1, x minus 1 divided by 2 factorial 2 into delta square, delta square y naught value 1. Now to simplify this one, this is for 1 plus x into 1, x plus now multiply this x square minus x divided by 2 and this is for 1. Next up, next up we can take the LCM 2 this is for 2 and this is for 2 x plus x square minus x now to simplify this is for x square and 2x minus x plus x plus 2 divided by 2 so we can write like this form y of p equal to we can take that 1 by 2 common within bracket x for you plus x plus 2 this is the polynomial equation of given sum okay same sum we can use another method Newton's backward interpolation we can use either Newton's forward as well as Newton's backward but result should be same ok Newton's backward interpolation is we can take the value this one backwards formula p equal to x minus xn divided by h x not given minus x n value lost value of x7 difference 1 equal to x minus 7 this is the p value and formula for Newton's backward y of p y n plus p delta reverse order y n plus p into p plus 1 divided by 2 factorial delta square of y n we can stop that further up to delta square equal to y n value 29 plus p value x minus 7 into delta y n value delta y n value 7 plus x value x minus 7 within bracket p plus 1 x minus 7 plus 1 divided by 2 factor is 2 into delta square of y n value 1 value 1 first we can find out this one x minus 7 into 7 equal to now multiply 7x and multiply this one this is for 40 next to multiply this one x minus 7 and simplify this one x minus 6 first we can take this to x for your and then x 6x and then this to minus 7x next multiply this to plus 40 so we can simplify this one x for your 
minus 7x minus 6x minus 30x plus 42. Okay. Now to substitute all the values here. 29 plus x minus 7 into 7 result 7x minus 49 plus x minus 7 x minus 6 that result this one x square minus 13x plus 42 divided by 2 we can take the LCM this is for 58 58 this is for 14x this is for 96 plus x square minus 13x plus 42 equal now to simplify x square this one uh, 14x minus 13 14x minus 30 means plus x and then 58 minus 96 and 42 58 42 102 minus 96 minus 96 is 6 Now, to take the LCM 2 into 29, 58 plus 7 into 2, 14 x minus 5, uh, 49 into 2, 98, 98 plus x power minus 13 x plus 42. Now to simplify this one, x for your 40x minus 30x, the result is x and 58, 42, 58, 42, 100 minus 98, the result 2, plus 2 divided by 2, divided by 2, and then final result y of t equal to we can take the 1 by 2 common 1 by 2 within bracket x square plus x plus 2 this is the formula now the same result we can get the Newton's forward as well as Newton's backward interpolation now in question find the polynomial of degree 2 this is the polynomial equation. The degree will be 2. Okay? That's all. Thank you.